Welcome back to the show. We are talking nanotechnology now, and clearly Ryan and I are not going to be the ones talking about it because we just learned about it yesterday. This is uh, true. <laughs> but we brought Peter Hackett on uh, set this morning. Welcome to the show, President of Alberta Ingenuity. Good morning, I guess, Wendy. Good morning. morning. Uh, the very first question we need to ask you is, what is nanotechnology? Well, nanotechnology is the technology of materials that are made out of very small uh, particles. And those particles are engineered to have fabulous properties. So whatever you'd want to think about, using nanotechnology, you can make it if you can dream it. Now give us an idea, when you say very small, the size is, to, to my mind, just unbelievable. Okay, so the size is the size of molecules. So that's angstroms, which is one-tenth of a nanometer, which is one-thousandth of a micrometer, which is one-thousandth of a millimeter. And I guess we know what a millimeter is, so we're like uh, so 10 one, to the minus 9 of that. Oh you know, one thousandth of one thousandth of one millimeter. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. But then you put it all together, and at first, when I hear the word nanotechnology, I assume we're talking about uh, it goes into GPS units and, and, and uh, iPods and yeah. things like that. But also, you bring in some of these things, I'm a little surprised. It can be anywhere, yeah. I, the, the best thing I think about is a Formula One car, right? You look at a Formula One car, and when you see it crashing, it's really, really strong. You know, it protects that driver, and it's made out of carbon fibers, right? It's not made of metal anymore, right? right? It's completely different. And those carbon fibers can now be engineered so that they're just the width of molecules. And they're incredibly strong when you do that. That's wow. nanotechnology. So it's in Formula One cars. It's in this tennis racket. It's in uh, cosmetics because it, that reflects the sunlight uh, better than other kinds of uh, materials. So whatever you could think about, you can make it better by using nanotechnology. Now, I don't want to speak for all of our viewers, so I'll just speak for Ryan and I and hoping that we're not particularly ignorant, but this isn't a, a, a household topic. This isn't something that a lot uh -huh. of people know everything about, yet it is in everything that yes, really surrounds us, right. and it's a huge industry right now in Alberta. Why do you think it's such a, a well-kept secret in the scientific community? Ah, uh, Well, I, I can't really tell you why it's a big secret um, in Alberta. We've been working on it in Alberta for 15, 20 years, you know, gradually developing the science for it, bringing in the very smart people that can drive that forward and gradually building up our capability. We've got about a hundred uh, companies in nanotechnology uh, in the Edmonton area, companies like Microline that sell products all around the world. And it'll just keep growing because since it's in everything, there are markets all around the world for the kind of stuff that we're going to produce. Uh, so yeah. there are going to be, um, if we keep going this way, thousands of people employed in nanotechnology. Well, uh, and maybe, you know, we still won't hear about it too much because it's such a background thing. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter, yeah. I think that one, one way that I know that we are going to hear about it is that the government of Alberta is investing in it, and this is a provincial government that's often been criticized for not, diversing its, not diversifying its investments enough and not investing enough outside of oil and gas. But we do know that uh, they've made targeted investments to claim about $20 billion in economic activity in the next 11 years, yes. which brings me uh, to the focus of why you're here, of course, this conference in our city right now. Okay. Uh, Tell us just very briefly who's here, why are they here, and what does it mean for our city? Okay. What we have in the city today, kicking off today, is a conference on nanotechnology and forestry. So we're, that's being called nanoforestry. There's about 200 people from around the world coming to discuss that topic to look at all of the materials you can make out of trees. Not two by fours, but taking the uh, cellulose in the trees apart to produce something that's called nano uh, crystalline cellulose, right? Another small material from which you can make another whole suite of products with a whole set of fabulous properties. Uh, so that's going on right now. Uh, it's going to be at Western Hotel and uh, we're looking forward to see what kind of things these guys are coming up with. They're talking about making transistors out of trees. Now I think that's kind oh of crazy. Oh but could happen. Wow. Hey, never stop dreaming. <laughs> no, well, thank you so much, Peter, for coming in today. Thanks, because Wendy. I think yeah. now Thanks, that we'll, Ryan. now that we have sort of the background and we know a little bit about what we're looking for, when we see the headlines, we'll be able to follow the progression of this uh, amazing industry. When you get a new car, understand that it's been washed in nano crystalline silver because it's a great disinfectant. Nano crystalline <laughs> silver, it makes me feel like I'm, per uh, I'm driving the Batmobile or something. Our thanks to Peter Hackett from Alberta Ingenuity. Breakfast Television returns with Michelle McDougall and a